Grantly Adams International Airport Gaia, IATA, BGI, ICAO, TBPB, is the international airport of Barbados, located in Sewell, Christ Church. It is the only designated port of entry for persons arriving and departing by air in Barbados and operates as one of the major gateway to the Eastern Caribbean. The airport has direct service to destinations in the United States, Canada, Central America and Europe and serves as the second hub for Liat. In 2016, the airport was the eighth busiest airport in the Caribbean region and the third busiest airport in the Lesser Antilles after Queen Beatrix International Airport on Aruba and Point A Petra International Airport on Guadeloupe. Gaia, also remains an important air link for cruise ship passengers departing and arriving at the port of Bridgetown, and a base of operations for the Regional Security System RSS, and the Regional Caribbean Police Training Center. The airport's former name was Sewell Airport before being dedicated posthumously in honor of the first Premier of Barbados, Sir Grantley Herbert Adams in 1976. The airport's time zone is GMT-4 and is in World Area Code Region No. 246 by the U.S. Department of Transportation. It was a hub for now defunct Barbadian carriers Caribbean Airways and Redjet, the home for the charter carrier West Indies Executive Air, and former home to the flight training school Coconut Airways. <laughs> Overview and geography Grantly Adams International Airport lies 12.9 kilometers, 8.0 miles from the center of the capital city Bridgetown in an area officially known as Sewell. This is contrary to most information services stating the airport as being inside the capital. Grantly Adams Airport is the main air transportation hub for the Eastern Caribbean. The terrain is relatively flat and quite suburban. The airport lies in the southeastern portion of Parish of Christ Church, close to the southern tip of the island. The airport has easy access to the ABC Highway, Highway 7 heading towards the capital and locations to the north and west coast. The airport has recently undergone a multi-phase $100 million upgrade and expansion by the government, which added a new arrivals hall adjacent to the prior arrivals, departures terminals. Construction was made slightly more complicated because the airport has to remain open for up to 16 hours per day. Its current infrastructure is supposed to meet the needs of Barbados until at least 2015. The Phase 3 construction project, which is yet to be completed will see changes made to the aeroplane parking configuration. History Early years Air transportation at the site of present-day facility, then known as Sewell Airport, goes back as far as September 1938 when a mail plane from KLM Royal Dutch Airlines landed on the site from Trinidad. At the time there was merely a grassy strip as the runway. The strip was paved some time later and in 1949 the first terminal was built on the site, to replace a shed that was being used. This ushered in the facility being formally known as the Sewell Airport. During the 1960s, the Eastern Flight Range just southeast of the airport became known as Paragon. This area became the initial base of a high altitude research project known as Project HARP. Project HARP was jointly sponsored by McGill University in Canada and the United States military. In 1983, the U.S. sponsored invasion of Grenada prompted the United States to form another agreement with Barbados. As part of the deal, the U.S. expanded a part of the current airport infrastructure. This prepared Grantley Adams Airport to be used as a base. As part of the plan to maintain for lasting stability in Grenada, the United States assisted in the establishment of the Regional Security System RSS at the Eastern Grantley Adams Flight Range. The RSS was and still is, a security unit focused on providing security for the Eastern Caribbean. Grantley Adams International Airport, as it is known today, handles most large aircraft including Boeing 747s. The airport was one of the few destinations where British Airways Concorde aircraft made regularly scheduled flights and got repairs. The flight time of Concorde from the United Kingdom to Barbados was less than four hours. The first Concorde visit to Barbados was in 1977 for the Queen's Silver Jubilee. 
During the 1980s, the Concorde returned for commercial flights to Barbados and thereafter flew to Barbados during the busy winter season. On 17 October 2011, ZA006, a Boeing 787 Dreamliner arrived at BGI for testing. This was followed by a 24 October arrival of the Boeing 747-8i for further high humidity environment testing. Topic: 2000 to 2006 expansion project. Since Grantley Adams International Airport had become a relatively busy airport for such a small island and based on an expected increase in future air traffic the government of Barbados commenced a $100 million program to revamp the airport's infrastructure. Phase 1, which is now complete, saw an upgrading of the runways, taxiways, parking aprons, and approach lighting. This phase included the government of Barbados acquiring private land adjacent to the landing strip to bring the airport into compliance with new international aviation regulations. Phase 2, also complete, included adding a new arrivals terminal adjacent to the current building, moving arrivals from the older terminal, renovating the older terminal as a departures facility, and bringing the infrastructure into the new millennium. Topic Expansion after 2006 On 1 June 2007, the $1.7 million Club Caribbean Executive Lounge and Business Center was opened as an added amenity for business travelers. The center contains 5,000 square feet 460 square meters and is on the mezzanine level. The center is meant to be used by special customers of several airlines at the terminal. The Phase 3 expansion had to wait until the completion of the 2007 Cricket World Cup. It envisions the addition of new airport terminal jetway gates, new spacious departure lounges much closer to the aeroplanes and air bridges to make connections much easier. Also nearing completion is the expanded duty-free shopping area and restaurants for travelers. In 2010 airport authorities stated that traffic to the airport was up 58% and that a 20-25 year plan was being formed for the facility including an addition to the taxiway and renovation of the cargo facilities up to international standards. After the expansion project, the airport's arrivals facility was moved to a separate new 70,000 square foot 6, square meters building adjacent to the previous structure. This allowed the departures area to occupy much of the previous shared structure. The new arrivals terminal was built with five large baggage carousels, along with customs and immigration windows. Facilities Terminals Grantley Adams International Airport has two terminal buildings designed to appear as one single continuous structure. The first structure and oldest is the current departures terminal. This terminal stretches from gates 11 to 13. Before the 2000-2006 expansion project, the original single terminal building housed both the arrivals and departures facilities. The former layout was divided in two with a few duty-free shops and an open-air area in the middle with trees and other greenery which was open to both halves of the terminal. The new translucent membrane that towers over the airport shows where the old terminal was split in two. Additionally the membrane tent covers the gap between the old and new terminal and gives the appearance of being a single long building. The new terminal spans gates 1 to 10. The terminal currently has 22 ground-level gates. Topic. Runway and taxiways The airport is at an elevation of 52 meters 171 feet above mean sea level. It has a single 2-mile asphalt paved runway, 09, 27 measuring 11,000 by 150 feet 3,353 meters times 46 meters. The airport has a single east-westerly runway, connected by five taxiway intersections with the aircraft parking area which is adjacent to the main terminals. As a result of the tradewinds that blow from the Atlantic Ocean across Barbados from the east, planes usually land and take off in an easterly direction. This results in a typical flight path for arriving aircraft along the west coast of Barbados, while departing flights usually fly along the east coast. 
On relatively rare but not uncommon occurrences, some weather disturbances, such as passing hurricanes or tropical systems, may cause planes to take off or land in a westerly direction such as on 29 August 2010. <laughs> <laughs> Navigation TBPB is equipped with VOR, DME and an ILS system. The airport operates for 24 hours a day. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Airlines and destinations. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Passenger Topic. Cargo Besides the arrivals and departures terminals, Grantley Adams International Airport included provisions for a new cargo building in the 2000-06 expansion project. The cargo needs include timely postal services in addition to airline support. The cargo facility is located on the western end of the airport next to the new arrivals building. Regular additional cargo carriers serving Barbados Air Atlanta Icelandic also operated by Astral Aviation and Magma Aviation Airbridge Cargo Airlines Northern Air Cargo Stratair. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Other facilities. The head office of the Barbados Civil Aviation Department is on the airport property. In addition Barbados Meteorological Services, operates a Doppler weather radar station at the airport. <laughs> Incidents and accidents On 6 October 1976, Kubana Flight 455 was bombed and crashed off the coast of Barbados in a terrorist attack by suspected CIA operatives shortly after the plane took off from Barbados. The plane had landed in Barbados and was en route to Havana, Cuba by Kingston, Jamaica. Persons linked to the attack and said to be hired by Luis Posada Carriles had deplaned in Barbados and made plans to fly out of the country a short time later on an alternate flight. On 21 March 1981 a Caribbean Airways McDonnell Douglas DC-1030 operating a scheduled service from Barbados to London Gatwick suffered tireburst on takeoff from Gaia, as a result of hitting an uneven patch on the runway. This caused most overhead lockers to open. Rather than returning to Barbados, the flight deck crew decided to continue to London Gatwick. Due to the flight's early arrival over the UK, ATC instructed the flight deck crew to hold for 25 minutes, following which the aircraft landed safely at Gatwick. There were no injuries among the 340 passengers. According to an airline spokesman, the hot rubber from the burst tires had caused wiring short circuits. These in turn had affected some flight deck instruments. In 2010, during the heightened traffic frequency of the tourist season November through April, a number of chartered airlines and regularly scheduled carriers reported a series of bird strikes on takeoff. These were not serious enough to cause any damage to the aircraft and they continued on to their destinations. After brief investigations, the birds turned out to be small Vesper bats, native to Barbados. Concord Museum To the east of the main Grantley Adams Airport is the 8,534 square metres site of the British Airways Concord Museum on the Old Spencers Plantation. The museum is part of the new expanded airport grounds. British Airways had granted the government of Barbados one of their retired Concord aircraft and BAC, SNIAS Concord 212 GBOAE is now on permanent display in a dedicated hall. The Q2 company had entered a museum and exhibition facility designed to the government of Barbados for this new permanent housing of the aircraft. The Concord Experience has zones providing information on the aircraft. On 2 November 1977 GBOAE was the same aircraft that Queen Elizabeth II travelled flying from Gaia to London Heathrow, England. That occasion was the first visit by Concorde to Barbados. Alpha Echo 
was the last Concorde to fly supersonic on 17 November 2003, on its delivery flight to Barbados. Awards 2002, 2003, 2004 The Caribbean's Leading Airport by the World Travel Awards In 2010 Airport Council International ACI recognized the airport as one of the best facilities in the region for service excellence. Under the section Caribbean and Latin America, Grantley was ranked as third following, Guayaquil Ecuador and Cancun Cun, Mexico, respectively. See also List of airlines of Barbados Barbados Civil Aviation Department List of the busiest airports in the Caribbean Notes Resources for this airport, 1. Carat Accident History for BGI at Aviation Safety Network 2. Carat Airport Information and Live Flight Tracker for TBPB at FlightAware 3. Carat Aeronautical Chart for BGI at Skyvector 4. Carat Recent Weather Observations for TBPB at NOAA, NWS 5. Carat Current Weather for TBPB at NOAA, NWS 6. Carat Airport Information for TBPB at World Aero Data Data current as of October 2006, source, DAFIF 7. Carat Airport information for TBPB, BGI at Great Circle Mapper. Source, DAFIF effective October 2006.